cheese. Oh, hello there. I am Miss Dawn from the Couts branch of the Porter County Public Library System. I was just getting ready to enjoy a delicious snack of string cheese. I love cheese and I was so excited to find out that October is American Cheese Month. What a fun thing to celebrate. There's all sorts of cheeses. There's brie cheese, there's cheddar cheese, there's mozzarella cheese, there's Colby cheese, Swiss cheese, string cheese, Munster cheese, and one of my favorite cheeses to say is Gouda. Can you say that with me? Gouda. I just love to say it. It's a fun word. There's lots of things that you can do with cheese or make with cheese. There's cheese dip. There's cheese pizza, one of my favorites. You can make grilled cheese. You can have cheese on your nachos or put cheese in your soups and sandwiches. And you can even eat cottage cheese, which is one of my favorite things to eat. And you can make cheesecake out of cream cheese. All sorts of things that you can do with cheese. Kinda makes us hungry for some cheese, doesn't it? Well, I have a fun story that I am going to read to you today about cheese. And this is Twaddleton's Cheese by Ryan T. Higgins. Ryan T. Higgins is also the author of the Mother Bruce series. If you have not read those, please check those out at the library. They are funny. Twaddleton's Cheese. We all know that money does not grow on trees, but nobody said that it can't grow on cheese, said Twaddleton's mayor to the Twaddletonese. He had a cheese factory built on a hill. He hired cheese makers with cheese making skills. But even before the first work day was through, they made so much cheese, they didn't know what to do. You know what? They could always give me the cheese. I would know what to do with it. So they sold it as furniture. Would you sit on a couch made of cheese or sleep in a cheese bed? I don't know if I would. They stuffed it in the mail till the whole town was full from the church to the jail. But as the cheese gathered and grew rather old, it didn't grow money, it only grew mold. Look at that. A town full of cheese isn't really that swell, cause cheese in the breeze makes an unpleasant smell. Ooh, I do like cheese, but I don't know if I would like to smell yicky, cheesy, moldy cheese. Something had to be done, and done very quick. So they checked off a cheese wad 100 feet thick. That's a pretty thick size. At 7 past 2 on the 12th of July, four field mice were dashing. When out of the sky, there came a great object that fell like a brick. A massive size something 100 feet thick. But what was that thing that crashed down with a boom? Whoa, no, cried the mouse. What do you think the mouse thought it was? It's the moon, it's the moon. They wanted to help it. They needed a plan to put the moon back in its place. The moon, it just doesn't belong on the land. It belongs in the outers of space. The horizon's the place where the moon, where the land meets the sky. We should push the moon off and see if it flies. Do you think the moon would fly? Yeah, I don't think so either. They started off pulling and tugging and towing with a huff. Can you huff? Huff. And a grunt. Can you grunt with me? Ah. And a wheeze. Oh, that's a great wheeze. What they thought was the moon, but they had no way of knowing. They were towing a great wad of cheese. But soon they grew tired, as little mice do, because a cheese wad is bigger to them than to you. 
All hope was lost till they came to a sign. Standing high and so proud did it say, 46 feet to the Twaddleton line. Thank you for coming. Now please go away. Mm. The four little mice went straight into town looking for help, but all that they found were the screams and the shouts of the Twaddletonese who were mad at the mice for returning their cheese. Can you show me a mad face? Oh, wow, that's a great mad face. I love it. And the mice were convicted on all four counts of smuggling cheeses in quite large amounts. Please, Mr. Judge, please let us explain. We're just little mice with rather small brains. We promise we thought that your cheese was the moon. We all know now it's cheese and we'll solve this mess soon. Hmm, how do you think they're going to solve it? How would you solve it? <gasps> Those are wonderful ideas. <gasps> we'll eat it, we'll eat it. And these three, We'll eat it, we'll eat it, we'll eat it all up. You will see. Nobody thought they could actually do it, but when the mice started, they really got to it. Do you think they'll eat it all? I bet they will. In order to thank you, we'll donate one slice of our cheese every day to the hungriest mice. All over the world, we'll give it away, and that's just what they did, and they still do to this day. The chubby mice waddled on back to their home, giving cheeses in lifetime supply, and the sun started snoozing. Oh, sorry. Too sleepy to roam. And the moon found its way to the sky. The end. That was a very, very cute book. Now we're going to do a very simple craft. And these crafts are available in kits at all five of our library branches. The only thing that we do not provide is a glue stick. But otherwise, we provide everything else. There's our little mouse, and he's very fun. You can make him into a magnet. You can prop him up on the counter. You can hang it on your refrigerator. You can put a string on it and hang it on your kitchen door. First, you'll take the piece of cheese, and using the provided circles that we give you, they're stickers, you will put them out, you will peel them off, and you can place them on your cheese. Now, what you might want to do first is put glue on the back of your cheese or the back of your mouse. Don't forget the tail. And then you can place it wherever you want to on the cheese and then you will know where to put the dots at. So once you have the dots on there and your mouse, you will put glue on his ears. And then you have two pink circles that you will place on there. And then you have two eyes that you will put on there. And you might have to hold the eye for just a minute so it will hold on there, just like that. Yes, and then when you're done with that, then you can glue the other eye on there like that there okay oops there perfect now what we need is the nose and i recommend you put lots of glue on the black circle right there put lots of glue on there put the nose on there and you'll have to let it dry, but when you do, you will have a wonderful, wonderful cheese craft. Well, thank you very much for attending story time. One other thing I do want to say is I do like a cheese snack, but you know what I do sometimes before I eat my cheese snack? 
I decorated. This one I decorated as Dr. Seuss. It's just fun to share with a brother or sister or to put it in your lunchbox. You can draw trees or flowers, whatever you want to on there. And it's pretty fun to do. So you can just do that with markers. And I want to thank you for coming along for this fun, cheesy story. We're going to do a quick goodbye song. It's very simple. Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Pat your belly, blink your eyes. Blow a kiss mwah, and say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for coming.